Hey, I'm Guy, and I'm very excited to share with you that today the Platformers community launches a new Backstage Helm Chart. A Helm Chart that can help you to deploy Backstage in the Kubernetes cluster, and it takes only five minutes to do that. So in this video, I'm going to explain a little bit about the Backstage Helm Chart, how to use it, and I'm going to show you step-by-step -step deployment guide for it. Let's go. Backstage is an amazing project, but one of the main challenges for it is the ability to deploy it just for test and demo purposes. So let me explain a little bit. Backstage is a very customizable and extendable project. In order to deploy it, each one can take the application source code, adjust it, change it, mix it with the plugins, and build it the way you want it to be in order to fit your use cases and challenges. On the other side, in order to deploy just for the first time, you need to do the same process. So in order to deploy it, you need to get the source code, change it, adjust it, add the plugins to the source code, build your container image, and then deploy it to Kubernetes. And that was a really challenging for many people just to deploy backstage and maybe demo it and play with it a little bit. So what we wanted to do is to decrease the barrier and make sure that everyone within the community can actually deploy backstage as simple as it can be. It's not going to be a production grade backstage because you need to adjust and change it. But in order to demo it, test it, play with it, and maybe adjust it for your organization to make it suitable, it can be 100% fit for your use case. So let me show you a little bit about the, back, the Backstage Helm Chart Git repo, and let's deploy it for the first time and see how it looks. To start exploring the Backstage Helm Chart, uh, you can go into the Platformers website, and then you would find a page for the Platformers Backstage Helm Chart. So at the top, you can find description, and on the right side, you can see a screenshot of the backstage you are going to get with the platformer's brand in it, and also demo data from the demo that Backstage demo is. At the bottom, you can find all the relevant links like the deploy, contribute, and if you want to share some feedback, you can go into our community Slack channel and actually paste your feedback. You're very welcome to contribute, share feedback, and actually use the Helm chart. And what we are going to do next is basically try to deploy. Let's click on the deploy and figure out how to do that. After clicking on the deploy, we will get into the Backstage Helm Chart repo when we can find out at the bottom instructions on how to deploy it. Let's give them a quick try and see how we can deploy Backstage. I hope it will take us less than five minutes as I promised. Now I'm going to show you exactly how to deploy Backstage using the Helm Chart. On the right side, you can see that I got the Backstage Helm Chart Git repo with the uh, instructions on how to deploy that. On the left side, you can see my terminal. Just before we start the recording, I have created a kind cluster on my local machine. That's the fastest way to do that. Um, and now I'm going to follow the instruction and show you that step by step. So in order to deploy Backstage, what we need is to deploy a Postgres. Uh, Backstage actually connects to this Postgres. So we are going to use CNPG for that. So what I'm going to do is take the first command and use it. If you are using your own Postgres or you already got one, that's perfectly fine. You can change the Backstage Helm Chart values and connect to your Backstage that you already got. Uh, so it really depends on whatever you have. If you don't have, use these commands. The second thing we are going to do is that we are going to create our first database uh, for the Postgres. So we are going to create a namespace, uh, a secret that's going to be the username and password for the database and also the cluster as a CRD. I'm going to paste it on the right side. And we can see that the namespace, the secret, and the cluster was created. Sometimes it takes a little bit time for the CNPG pod to start and actually listen to the webhook for the CRDs. So it can take, it can take a few seconds and make this command when you fail. So just retry it a few times and it should take 30 seconds for you to get up and running. So that's perfectly fine. Next, we are starting to deploy the Backstage. In order to deploy Backstage, we need a GitHub access token. 
That way Backstage can access GitHub and actually fetch our catalog, software catalog out of GitHub. So what we have is a link in here to how to create access token. We need to create the classic token and at the bottom we can find out which permissions do we need to provide for this token. Um, so I'm going to create it on my own. Uh, you're going to do it on your side. And what we need to do after that is to use this export command and paste the token in here. And later we are going to use that to deploy backstage. So I'm going to stop the recording for a few seconds, bring out my O token, and you will do the same on your machine. After we have created the GitHub token and add it as environment variable to our terminal, we can deploy backstage Helm chart. So I'm going to use this command, install the chart using the, your personal access token. I'm going to paste it on the right side. Let me make my terminal a little bit bigger. And what you can see in here is that it only adds the platformers community uh, Helm repo to your repos, update, install the chart just with the GitHub access token. So let's deploy it. Okay, and it works fine, and now we got Backstage installed. Now, what we need to do next is to run these commands uh, in order to open our browser and also do a port forward to Backstage. It can take a few minutes for our cluster to actually pull the image from GitHub, so we will wait a few minutes, and then we would use these commands. Now, let's check what happened to our pod. CTL, yeah. Now we can see the pod is uh, up and running. Let's give it a try. We can use also the commands from the, from the instructions. And what's going to happen is that we have Backstage installed in less than five minutes. We also have added a few uh, examples and demo data from the Backstage demo. So if you would click on a few of the services, you would see the information loaded in here. By the way, we also installed the Kubernetes plugin. So if you want, you can add more things into the catalog and actually get this up and running on your environment. Uh, let me show you a little bit on the backstage uh, Helm chart. We got the chart backstage and here you can find all the values of the chart. Uh, one of the interesting things is that you can change the catalog and actually use the demo catalog or custom data catalog. So if you want to use your catalog, you can do that. And that's it. We got Backstage up and running as quickly as possible and with no effort needed, which is just amazing. And basically, that's it for today. I'm very excited about this one because it really makes everyone to be able to deploy Backstage much, much easier. So three things for you to do. One, give it a try, deploy Backstage locally and see how it goes. Second thing, contribute. Uh, it's a very basic chart and we need to improve it along the way. Please be one of our contributors for the chart GitHub, but also for the community uh, and start the project, obviously. And if you have a feedback, go to our community Slack and just post it on the Helm Chart channel. That's it. Thank you, everyone, and happy backstaging.